So welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create and deploy a sample application on Kubernetes using a Helm chart. I'm going to assume that you have kubectl and Helm already set up. Please check the Run Kubernetes Locally guide if you want to know how to set up Kubernetes locally. So in this video, we're going to create a Helm chart modify the chart to deploy a sample application, add a dependent component to the chart, and pack and share the chart. For this tutorial, I'm going to follow most of the steps from the Bitnami guide called Create Your First Helm Chart. You might want to have that open as well. So you can find it at docsbitnami.com tutorials create your first Helm Chart. Also, please check out the Bitnami catalog of trusted, up-to-date, and easy-to-use applications and Helm charts for Kubernetes. You can find it at hub.cubeapps.com. So first, what is Helm? Helm is an application package manager for Kubernetes. It simplifies creating, deploying, and managing applications on Kubernetes. Helm packages are called charts and a chart is a collection of files that describe a related set of Kubernetes resources. So let's make that more visible by creating a chart. Now that was easy, so let's see what has been created. So just a quick overview of some important files. This is the chart YAML file. It contains information about the chart, like the chart name and the version, etc. The values YAML file, this is the default configuration file for the chart. And in the template folder are the template files, which are rendered by Helm and contain definitions for services, deployments, and other objects. Now it's important to know that Helm uses template files which are rendered into Kubernetes manifest files using the information from the values YAML and from the deployment itself. So I'm going to quickly show how that looks. So this is how the services YAML template looks. For example, here are the placeholders for the service type and for the port. And here are some of the values from the values YAML file. You can see here the service type is cluster IP and the port is 80. And this is how it's rendered by Helm. As you can see, Helm has replaced the placeholders with the values from the YAML file. So I want to quickly mention the notes text file in this context. This file contains the text that is shown after a successful deployment and also supports placeholders. So this is the notes text template. As you can see, it contains a lot of placeholders like release namespace and my chart full name, etc. Now let's deploy the chart. And we will set it up as a node port. A node port service can be used as a way to direct external traffic directly to your service. 
By default, the service type is cluster IP, which gives access to the application from within the cluster, but node port opens a specific port on all the nodes. So we can access the application from our browser, which can be helpful for testing and debugging. So here you can see the text from the notes text file I showed before with the namespace placeholder that has been replaced by default, which is the namespace we are using. And my chart full name has been replaced with example my chart. If you copy this and execute the command, it will return the URL where the application can be accessed. So let's check that in the browser. And this is the default Nginx start page showing that the application is working. So this was a very basic example. Now let's deploy a simple to-do application which is the same as used in the create your first Helm chart guide I mentioned at the start. We just need to replace the repository with the applications repository. And the tag, we will change it to 100. Now let's run the YAML file through the linter to check if it's well formed. Now let's deploy the application with this different repository. And as we already have a deployment called example, let's give it a different name. Okay, just copy and paste the output and let's check it in the browser. So that's working. So what if your application depends on another component like MariaDB and it only works with a specific version? In that case, you need to pull in that component as part of the release. So let's create the requirements YAML and add MariaDB as the component and version 060 as the version.
So now let's pull in that component. Here you can see that the component has been added to the chart subdirectory. Now when you install the chart, you will see that MariaDB060 is also created. And this is the pod for MariaDB. Now what if you have tested your chart, it works, and now you want to share it with a coworker. With Helm you can package the chart using this command. Now you can see that Helm has created a compressed file containing the chart. Now your coworker can deploy it like this. And it's even possible to add the packed chart to a local repository. Let's check that in the browser. So that's all for now. We have successfully deployed a sample application on Kubernetes using a Helm chart. We've added a dependent component and we've learned how to pack and share the chart. Thanks for watching and see you next time.